Alrighty folks, coming back at you with some more ranked gameplay. This time we are playing Sevrog in the solo lane. We've probably got our work cut out for us, but at the same time the support matchup is a Bellica versus a Muriel, so we will see how that goes. Um, gonna be interesting. Gonna be an interesting one regardless. We've got a Chimera in jungle, which I like that we landed that. Looks like we're going to be against a Seraph in the solo lane. So we'll see how that pans out with her good ability to pursue us. But hopefully we're able to stay on top of our stacks a little bit better. And uh, scale great into the late game. They've got a Rampage in jungle. So let's get this adjusted a little bit. There we go. They've got a Rampage in jungle. Been seeing Rampage picked a lot recently. Um, you know, since that buff. And since the tanks are really more in the meta now. Uh, it's It kind of makes sense. Hopefully our Muriel is just good. Uh, you guys, if you've seen... If you've been watching the channel for a while... You know I generally uh, am not looking forward to seeing a Muriel at my support. But... When you have a really good Muriel, then you know it can it can help you win the game. It can swing the game if they're if they ult into team fights and stuff like that, ult into objective takes. But if you've got a, a poor performing Muriel, then okay, she's just gonna focus me down. Minions are gonna tear her up early there. Yeah, Minions put a lot of damage on her there early while she was trying to focus me. Maybe a good sign for how this lane's gonna go. May have came out of a game where she was bullying somebody. We're gonna take our dash second here just in case that Rampage wants to show up on us. We're gonna need it. Oh, I mistimed that one pretty bad. Try to get some stacks up. Try to get some stacks up, see how this Seraph wants to play. There's Rampage. We've got 20 seconds till we get another ward up. So he must have started his blue side. Chimera's nearby, so I don't mind being this far pushed up. He's kind of just going to freeze lane, it looks like. Get a ward down, not at all. I don't think Rampage is going to be right back or anything. We got a dash out. She hit level 3. And we did not. We're still not going to be able to. and We've got to actually blink out here. She's going to tower dive me, come around behind tower and survive. Oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. Rampage is right there. Oh, Chimera gets cut off by blinking into, directly into a falling Countess, and they don't get either one of them. Oh no. And Seraph is probably going to go for another aggressive cleanup. This is a rough start. This is a rough start. I don't know how that Seraph... Maybe we should have just stood right in the middle of tower, but I didn't think she was going to be able to survive like three or four tower shots like that. Um, I would be in favor of a tower buff. You know, just me. After seeing something like that, you know, a Seraph with no items built, level 3, able to survive that many tower shots while I'm hitting her and everything, I, I, I think that's a good indicator that we need a tower buff. Last time they did a tower buff, they just buffed the pin the towers have, and like, that's okay, but I think their damage stacking should be better. Like, I think the, the third shot should do quite a bit of damage. An 
enemy tower is under Hopefully attack. she was able to spend enough time out of lane that we kind of caught up to her some. Okay, Rampage is over there near mid. Let me just get a little bit of space off of her here. Let her clear a little bit of wave. Her auto has just hit extremely hard. Root her out of her jump there. We no longer have eyes on Rampage, nor do we have a ward down, so... I don't want to stand too far forward. Yep, there he is. I kind of saw that coming, didn't I? We catch Rampage with the root there. Which is good, because he has red buff. He hits us too many times. We're just going to get ticked down. He's also going to guarantee that she gets a green, which is unfortunate. Come on in the tower. Camara's not gonna be able to get anything here. He really needs to get out. Oh, brother. Oh, I may be dead for that. Yep. I am dead for that. Again, she's gonna take a tower shot. Countess is gonna rotate onto our Chimera and get him. Yep. Um, I'm not sure what that okay is, is meant to mean, Chimera. I'm hoping that it means... Gideon, why didn't you rotate? But at the same time, I mean, Gideon probably didn't have much of an option to help us much. This Seraph, I mean, what did she start? She started Lifesteal. She started Lifesteal, but just... Uh, I mean... Uh, looking at that engagement, it makes me think that they don't need to buff the tower's pin or damage. They just need to make it like 10% faster attack speed because she was able to come into the front of tower, hitting me obviously with her phantom dashing ability and everything. She's able to come into the front of tower and leave out of the back and take one tower shot. That whole time there, she takes one tower shot. We gotta blow her off of us there. She's gonna ult. We're gonna root her coming out of the ult. She's not exactly just like tanking and sustaining all this damage. I mean, she's, she's feeling it. It's just she's gotta have that lifesteal to, to heal back up. Catch her with another root, just for a little bit of poke. She's gonna heal up just as fast as I am, if not faster, since she's got all that life steal going. An ally tower is under attack. And attack speed now. Just hitting her with roots to poke. We don't. We're not having a good opportunity to uh, stack up our passive. Better she's just full healing off of minions. There's really nothing we can do about it because she can just burst us down and dive tower. Like normally I would be able to stand this close to tower and feel safe, but she's gonna immune so much duration. And then she's gonna full heal off of the damage she's dealing to me. She's only gonna take one tower shot over that time. Then, you know, not really much I can do to box with her. Once we get uh, Fire Blossom finished, we'll have better boxing potential with her, but looks like we're gonna need Fire Blossom and Tainted Guard probably before we can really 1v1 her. Okay, what's the plan there, Seraph? Just push me off a wave. Just gonna wait for him to come back close to my tower. It's really my only option. 
No opportunities to pressure any greens. They get their fang tooth in the end as well. It's rough. And we just yeah, get destroyed at the fang tooth fight, it looks like. We've got to immediately dash out. Kind of surprised she just didn't dive tower for me there since she knows she can take six shots and survive. Her team's already throwing up the surrender, which makes sense. The kill count is two to seven, and we just lost that fang fight that would have put us back in it more soundly. And yeah, kind of knew how that one was going to go. Didn't have enough mana for my ult. She barely had enough mana. Our Muriel is, I guess, okay. That's fine, Muriel. Don't worry about it. Um, Ella Frost would be nice and all, but we gotta get Tainted Guard. She's got anti, or she's got crazy healing up, so. Go for Tainted Guard here, second item, and then we can probably 1v1 her, even though she's a good bit ahead of me. Wait and grab that armor. Yep, she's now 3 and 0, because I'm 0 and 3. God, that's rough. Um, Sevrog should be a... I mean, you see I was putting a lot of damage on her. It's just this is a very aggressive Seraph. Who's uh, very confident in diving tower. I can try to get over there, but you're probably cooked. And this pathing is rough. Muriel does come in. Okay, didn't really want him to escape, but... Okay, Gideon, come on in, come on in, Gideon, come on in. Okay, Gideon comes in and just gets cooked in the process. Okay, um, yeah, this one is looking like it's over, guys. I mean, if Gideon isn't able to come in and get somebody off of that... Uh, that's a really bad sign. That's a really bad sign. Uh, like I get I'm not having a good solo lane performance at all, but... Yeah, no. I mean, that's rough. How's our duo doing? Drongo's one and three. Muriel's 0 and 0, 2 assist. I mean, she's doing something. She started tainted. Probably a good start for her. They're able to pick off that rampage. I don't know how good our Gideon is. That's kind of what's concerning me after that engagement. So our Gideon should have had a free finish there. We do not have tainted up yet, so we can't deal with her healing. That's the main problem right now, is how much he's healing. Um, then the fact that we have no stacks up from our passive, basically. We're getting there. We'll, we'll get him up here eventually. We'll get him up by the late game. Get some stacks off of this guy. Maybe our Chimera can help us turn it around. It's Gideon. I mean, Gideon hit his ult there, but... We would have liked to see him come out with one of those kills. Ultimate ready. An ally tower is under attack. Can I just wait for the Seraph to push minions back up closer to us? I just completely whipped that move. Okay, we made her take a lot of tower shots and we drew Rampage off of them, so Chimera should be able to get that. Good play. Okay. 
I mean, I can't do too much here to him. Okay. Good job, Chimera. Good job just carrying these engagements. Okay. I should be fine now. We get horned plate on, which is okay. We don't get horned plate on. Because Countess shows up. Gideon, just retreat. Just Countess is two levels over you, brother. She's going to probably kill you. Uh, we're going to go for Mantle rather than Razorback here. Um, I like Mantle. I mean, it's going to kind of help me stack up some more health since I'm having a really slow time stacking up my passive health. But now the Seraph should have a pretty tough time 1v1ing us because we've got uh, her anti-heal taken care of a bit. I'm going to try to stick to her here to get some damage on her from our Fire Blossom. We do steal that Fang, but it looks like we're kind of pinned in. That Fire Blossom ticks are starting to hurt. They're starting to hurt, Seraph. And you don't have a lot of healing here. I uh, just whiffed that majorly. Yeah, those fire blossoms are gonna hurt. He's saying retreat. Somebody's coming for me here. Hit something, please. Oh no. Okay, he just goes for the old. At least he should at least guarantee the finish. Oh, I can't save you from this one, though. Okay, I made her path around that at least. Made her path around that. She may take my tower during that, but... That's okay. We're gonna need to get magical armor up to deal with this Countess. May go, uh, just go Tainted Bastion. Just go double anti-heal here. Uh, actually, probably go Flux Matrix. Probably go Flux Matrix just so that we can be a little bit more of a threat. To like the Seraph and everything. I think she has a pretty difficult time 1v1ing us overall. Built against her there. It's gonna hit the old early there just to give her something a little bit to worry about. Oh, I should have dove her. Okay, they get the finish on that. Good job. We get out quite low. I should have hit my... I can't. Should have hit my mantle there. Did a lot of damage to her. Alright, Tainted is officially up. And we're going to go for Tainted Bastion here. I would like Flux, like I said, but... Need something to deal with this Countess. Okay, we're able to base and then make it back in time. To make that engagement worth it. 
Went ahead and ward orb there. Should get stacks more efficiently now. Our abilities are leveled and we're doing more damage. Got some items online. We're still way behind where we should be in stacks, but... That's okay. Green's up. Did she just run straight for it? Yeah. No, she wants us instead. We're not going to have much use for our ult other than put damage on her. Oh, okay, there's a really unfortunate situation. Oh, she's just barely healing enough at the end. Chimera does come in. Had a good time there. Gideon gets in here too. Should be able to get a couple off of that. Oh, Countess blinks out. Chimera doesn't have his blink. He's waiting for his jump. Gideon should have him cut off. And she does not warp back because she knows Chimera's chasing. Good job. Good cleanup from everybody there. I don't mind being the one that gets dove on if it means we're going to get the cleanup like that. So. Uh, here we are looking at... Taking up Tainted Bastion. I'll go left. I mean, I, they already got this tower, but I can get, prevent them from pushing an inhib, I guess. Make sure we get a look at Fangtooth here. Their Seraph appears to have disconnected. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. That was the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to turn this around quickly if Seraph doesn't reconnect in the next minute or so. Drongo's just running for his life. He's getting chased down by the whole team. They rightly decided to turn around. She wanted us to dive in so she could ult there, I guess. Drongo should be able to bait him back. Yeah, he kind of baited him a little bit, but... Chimera's just going all in for the dive here. We are able to secure all of them there except for Rampage. What's the plan here, Rampage? I'm just going to go right. They're grouped up there enough in mid to probably make it happen. Oh, nice. Uh, it's going to take us a second, but we're just going to go for this blue. Yep, they need to get out. Seraph is not reconnecting. So we're just going to push another wave, go get our green, just try to get ahead while we got the chance. Get ahead while we've got the chance. This Bellica can probably hurt us. We don't have a full magical armor item up yet. And now we can go ahead and back and get Tainted Bastion online. I think Fist of Razul 
probably after Tainted Bastion. Uh, I think it gives us our best combination of sustain and health pool. With the healing back and the nice damage boost it'll give us. Got a rampage running around here. Trying to get on to him, but can't really get him. Can't really catch him. Check this uh, river bug. He's coming up behind this rampage. Oh, he blinked out. Oh, he stuns me out of my dash. They're in a really tough spot without the Seraph now, because she was kind of holding it down for him. Just keep him pressured here, so that we can secure left. That's unfortunate. Let's knock him off of us. Make sure our team's got the tower secured and whatnot. Yeah, let's root him so that we can nuke him. We got some puny looking shoulder pads on Sevrog today. Yep. Yep, I think we just get out of here after that. That was good though, I mean, this Seraph doesn't look like she's coming back. This is probably game for them. Don't really see them having any sort of recovery at this point. Primal Fang would uh, definitely secure the win, even if Seraph comes back. But they don't necessarily need me at it. So I'm just going to leave them to it. I'm just going to head right. Got to keep the pressure on them. With the uh, that being the only lane that there is... Oh yeah, there's the Surrender. So yeah, that one kind of got off to a rough start for us. We did have good 1v1ing and boxing potential with Seraph once we got the uh, Fire Blossom plus Tainted Bastion up. We could probably 1v1er pretty comfortably because it cut off her source of s sustain and was putting out consistent damage on her. Our Chimera really helped us turn it around going 10 and 2 and securing some fang tooth takes so you know this is the reality of how a lot of ranked matches are going right now you never know what was going on in the chat on their team's side because to leave the match like that when you were in a good position is really rough she you know she may have been exchanging some not so kind words with her teammates in the chat would be my assumption but we end up not doing that much damage. Probably having a fair bit of mitigated. Yeah, 24k mitigated. So, most on our team. Rampage obviously had more because he's Rampage. But, good work from our Muriel too. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the Muriel. She was very good at hitting her abilities. She was doing good with communication. Calling out when her ultimate was ready. When she was trying to ult. When she was trying to back and then ult out of base. Back into the team fights and stuff like that. So, Good job from her. Our Gideon definitely wasn't exceptional by any means, but you know, when they go a man down like that, it's it's going to be easier for us. And then of course they had a Bellica support, so you know what can you really expect from that? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Check out some of the recent ranked videos. The previous one we did playing Faye in mid lane. That was a little bit of a longer game. And um, check out the recent channel updates video if you haven't checked that out it's a pretty short one as well as the 1.0 hero tier list that i put out earlier 
in the week. So check that one out if you want to see how the heroes stack up against each other. And also check out, if you're a new player, the top five heroes for new players to climb ranked that I put out. I've got timestamps in there for each of those heroes, one for each role, and I've got clips for each of them so you can see you know, a little bit of gameplay of each of them if you're new, you know, trying to pick heroes that you want to climb ranked with. So check that out, and we will catch y'all in the next one.